welcome to my vlog in Cappadocia I am so excited to be here it has been on my bucket list for a very very long time and I'm definitely going to go back in the future because we didn't get to do everything that I would have liked to do I really just was sort of just seeing what it was like and then maybe sometime in the future I'll be able to go back I really hope so because I really enjoyed this place how funky <laughs> it's so cool oh hey i love it i think the carpet's wet but <laughs> Is it? i think they cleaned it but it feels like squishy where's the oh my god how's the spa bath so cool best accommodation <laughs> This is our accommodation, so cool, in Cappadocia. It's amazing. <laughs> I love it, it's so creepy. This place was on my bucket list because it's just so out of the ordinary. The scenery is just spectacular and I just love how different it is. So many steps. We got a plane to Istanbul, then we got a plane from Istanbul to Cappadocia and we got a taxi that was pre-booked, which was super handy. And then the taxi dropped us off at our hotel. And this was part of our hotel. It had a spa bath, which I didn't actually use, but it just looked cool. And then at the top terrace area, there was like a bed. And this is me trying to capture just like the view and me. It took like three goes and I just wanted to kind of do a really cute shot on the bed. I didn't really want to lie on that bed, I don't know who else has been on there, but it was just a really cool concept and such beautiful, beautiful view that you just don't see every day. I was doing a cool reel for my Instagram trying to get my feet, my little tootsies in there and in the background there you can see a large stone formation which is where all the cats live and they come out very very soon to join me which is so cute. I had so many of them around me and I absolutely loved them and made me feel like I was at home. If you're a cat lover, you really love this next part. It's literally just all cats. Just I was giving them a massive photo shoot. I'm sorry, I didn't pay you cats. I did give you some nice cuddles and love and attention. So hopefully that is enough. And they also had cat food around in Turkey. Then we went and got oh, dinner. So much and nice. We had Indian. I've never had Indian before, but it was delicious. It was beautiful. And then we walked back. They had their prayer that goes over the speaker in the town, which I think is just a magnificent thing to experience. And before we went and got dinner though, I took my drone out for a spin. I was super nervous to use my drone, but I asked at the front desk and he said, oh yeah, it's totally fine. So I just didn't go up too high because it wasn't, this was like one of my first times using it. And I was just really hesitant to fly it. Um, so be mindful of that this is one of my first times using it 
but I wanted to capture some of the sunset or scenery with my drone so enjoy and next time it will be 10 times better because I will feel so much more comfortable <laughs> That was fun, bit anxiety inducing, but it was fun and I will get used to it. So then we went and got dinner. We had Indian, which I've shown you. And then we went and did some shopping, which I didn't show the shops, but they had a few streets with some shops. A lot of them were the same shops, but I bought this balloon. But yeah, the guy, the guy that I bought the balloon off was like, um, where are you from? And I said, Australia. He said, hmm, you don't, I don't think you're from Australia. I think you're from heaven. <laughs> and then, and he was like, because you're an angel. And I was like, is that because I'm buying something? And he said, no, I can just tell when I see an angel and I say what I think. I was like, Okay, well, I'm already buying this balloon, so I don't know why you're complimenting me, but thanks. But I did come from Australia. Yeah, so I bought a balloon, a new balloon, and I bought this sunflower ring. It's so cute. They have so many different sunflower things that I could have bought the whole shop, honestly. And yeah, a lot of the stuff I've bought over here is pottery, and I'm just hoping it doesn't break. Um, a lot of it hasn't broken yet. Touch wood, but, um, it's in the center of my suitcase, surrounded by my cardigan and my tracky pants, so she'll be okay, but, yeah. I just love the stuff here. It's so cool. And in the morning we went and had breakfast, which was part of our accommodation, and I just mostly had some fruit, um, a little bit of an omelette, and some sort of bean and there was one cat that joined us in our breakfast area and then we went we went out and did some more shopping i got a nesquik bar yum i absolutely love nesquik i got this drink it was a juice but it nearly killed me because it had hazelnut in it and we had to take it back like three times because they kept putting hazelnut in it hello One of my pals was still here being our security guard and I decided to go for a little walk and explore the hotel and the surroundings and I went to one of the other terraces or balconies that was there and they have dresses that you can hire to get photos on the balcony. We didn't do that but we did get some beautiful shots later on in the night. Taking a little moment to take it all in. What an extravagant place to be. These are the dresses that you can hire. And they're the ones that usually you see on social media, those girls like wearing them and they're really long dresses. Then I kept walking, I was walking outside the hotel, this is where we stayed, the Traveller's Cave Hotel, I recommend it, they're really lovely people and such beautiful rooms. These was the tight staircase coming back and look my friend is still there guarding our room. He must just like us or know that I'm slightly nervous. <laughs> 
about dogs just because I had a bad experience when I was really young but I do love them. You just have to be wary of dogs especially when you don't know where they've come from. This was me getting some food because I was hungry and they had a little restaurant there. The food was okay but the view was magnificent. Then I went for another walk and I decided to do some more drone shots try and just get myself out of my comfort zone and try again. I didn't stay for long because I was a little nervous and I didn't know where I was going <laughs> but it was lots of fun and I felt good for being out there and being with nature. Then I walked back to our accommodation and I admire the beautiful sun setting and how picturesque it looked over the hills. Then we had to capture some images on top of one of the terraces because you're in Cappadocia, this is like the perfect scene for a photo shoot. You have to get photos when you're traveling, it's just a given and I use my G7X Mark II that I've had for ages and has become extremely trendy because it's a great camera and took these photos with my friend who I was traveling with and this turned out stunning and then we went to a different location and took more photos cats everywhere and then we went to have dinner it wasn't the greatest it was very cheap as well because the currency in Turkey is very different to Australia these were all the animals that I was feeding <laughs> to make sure I used the spa bath before I left the next day to Istanbul. Then the next day we went and we got on the plane to Istanbul, our last stop of our trip of five weeks and 11 different places in five different countries. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on my next vlog. Hope you're having a beautiful night or day wherever you are. Bye!